Hi, welcome back to our channel. My name is Jolie and I'm going to read. And you're here with me for those of you who are. Thank you for coming. Um, the book I'm reading, uh, continuing with this series is called A Little Time for Myself. So this is an Al-Anon book. It is a daily reflection. So it's short, sweet, and painless. So that's part of my uh, spiritual connecting the dots here in a simple way. And it's September. So September 4th is the reading and it's a good time. September is one of those times of year where like the leaves start falling even while it's still green outside. So it's like little knocks on the door that change is coming. And um, so it's good to put things in order and um, what better way than to get in a daily practice. So here we are. And I invite you to come every day and um, listen or and or read along with me. There are many books uh, that I've already read, Daily Reflections, and we do steps here. Well, I read the steps and you can follow along. So, um, so I have series of steps and series of readings. So, um, and at the end of the video, I'll have a link to the, um, the readings, the other readings. And then if you'd like the steps, they're going to be um, in the description below, or you can just go on to the main page and put in like what step you want to, you want to work like step four. Step four is a good one, but you've got to do the other steps first. Okay. So don't jump ahead. I mean, you can take a little taste of it by looking at it, but suggested to do the work because it works if you work it. Okay, so it's not that hard. You just have to commit a little bit, commit some of your life so that you can uh, like shell out the good stuff. You can see what's really going on and why you get um, miserable or discontent with life that you would, you know is a good life, but you can't quite... Um, love it. Does that make sense? So, um, I mean, like for instance, um, Al-Anon, for instance, is, is based on, and this is not an Al-Anon channel, so, but I do read on here and I do paint and things in order to get out of my head, out of my, they call it stinking thinking because <clears throat> Growing up in a home <clears throat> with people who have been affected by addiction and then when you have a, a live addict living in your midst, maybe even if you only see them on the weekends or maybe you see them all the time, even if you keep busy and they're not there all the time, you know, like everyone's affected. So we get, I'm so fidgety. <laughs> so alcoholism and addiction is a family disease. That's the base. So every addict affects at least four other people and including children and siblings and parents, spouses, friends, and coworkers. And um, many people who are exposed to addiction and alcoholism as children find difficulties with relationships in their adult life. Can you relate? And there are often problems with handling things like fear and guilt, shame, self-esteem. Um, they all have like, like an issue 
right? There's issues that are there. So, um, so if you grew up affected by someone else's drinking, this is a safe place. Um, Al-Anon is a safe place. And um, you can bring all your questions and concerns to the meetings. And um, if you desire to live a better life. So, um, so whatever your problem, there are, this is part of the, I got this the other day when I went to another meeting. Whatever your problems, there are those in al who have had them too. Together we can learn to face the past, to let go of it, to lead happy, productive lives in the present, right here. That's such a nice idea, right? I really like that. And also there's no experts. I think there's like wonderful part of al that is geared towards aut autonomy. Autonomy, one of my favorite words that I use quite a bit because it's like a concept that I just, I just love it. I love it. All right, so let's go. I'll say the serenity prayer and you can follow along with me afterward if you are called to do that, if you're gonna be here this long. All right, let's read the reading, September 4th. All right. Whoop, whoop, whoop. The moon is moving into Libra. Venus is in Libra, so we can talk about our feelings with love. <clears throat> <clears throat> September, I think, is like flips the switch on for all the new allergies. So let's take care of ourselves. And my headache thing is gone ish. I start feeling a little bit um, today at work and my eyes twitching a little bit, then it stopped. So I'm using castor oil. That's the oil. I'm using castor oil on my knee, on my, on my, um, arthritis and, uh, I don't know. I'm, I believe that it's working. So yeah. And care and love. Good self-talk, right? Let's start to read. Okay. As I, as I was approaching retirement, tradition seven quotes, every group ought to be fully self-supporting, declining outside contributions. Quote, <clears throat> gave me the idea to take control of my finances just like my Al Anon group was doing. I started with building an ample monetary reserve, but I didn't stop there. In order for me to continue service work in the program, for instance, I must keep myself healthy physically and emotionally. Yes, right? Taking care of ourselves, taking care of myself also means exercise and nutrition. Now I rely on my higher power to guide me and hold my hand through the transition into retirement with every aspect of my well-being in mind. Today's reminder Tradition seven doesn't just mean maintaining a bank balance. Every time I take action on my own behalf, I'm becoming more fully self-supporting. So the quote uh, from Paths to Recovery, which is one of the set books that I'm reading here. So I do not have to go overboard with either saving or spending. This is true with finances and also with my physical, emotional, and spiritual well-being. Question of the day is, in what areas in my life am I fully self-supporting today? All right. 
That's good. I think I shared enough in the beginning because I was talking about my health and, and the spiritual health along with the physical. And yes, I've been eating better so that my ulcer is settled ish more. So yogurt every day and, um, uh, foods that don't disturb, even though, yes, I was eating some pretzels today and yesterday, but they're not the real hard ones that I like, because they're actually the reason why isn't because I was doing better is because they didn't have them at the store. But these ones are a little softer and I have to watch because it's like, I don't want to go there again, because if that, if my if that starts acting up, then all the other things start acting up, like my knee or like that was a weird one yesterday and the day before. I'm like, I swear it feels like my knee went, it went like I was walking and it went like it made a sound. And I was like, and it started really getting sore. It didn't swell up. You can see the kitty. Hey, sweetheart. I spy a little kitty. <laughs> That's Lilac Moon, the sweetheart. And um, but uh, anyway, I'll just end with the serenity prayer. I'm going off topic, and um, but I'm really glad to be here. This I look forward to this every day, and I look forward to your comments knowing that we're not alone. Um, somebody shared today that uh, on one of the steps that I've, um, that I, that I read on here, um, that they're on step four. So hello, step four person. And I'm really, it's, it's, it takes time and it's okay. You know, it's your time. And I mean, you can do it a couple times. You don't have to just do it. And it's not one and done all the time. And it's not like, I have to know what this is. You know, you know, you just also can keep going one, two, three, one, two, three steps, one, two, three, because I have to give it up every day. So I do step one every day and step two and step three. And then I'm aware of my step four because that's when I can ask, like, if I'm triggered by something, I can go, okay, what, what am I afraid of? And where before, when I first said that, I was like, I'm not afraid of anything. I could do all this, but there's like deep, unknown, unconscious, subconscious things that motivate us like, whoa, hello. And we're like, I don't know. I don't know that you're doing that. Like, so like unconscious, subconscious things like happen, like they're like, like this, blah, 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 blah. And we're like, we're unaware, but choosing to be aware so that we can actually get in there, dig it out and look at it and go, oh, 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 I accept that. That's part of who I am. That's part of my story. That's who I am. And that's okay. And I know I'm going to get to know you now. I'm going to understand you and you're not going to rule my life. Okay, guys. And that's cool too. And they're like, good. We just were there so that you can see, so you can, you know, we're, we're just kind of like around here and we need to have boundaries because we love you. And we, you know, like that's kind of, that's where I'm at today with it. Does that make any sense? All right. So here we go. Serenity prayer. God grant us serenity to accept things we can't change, to have courage, to change things we can, and wisdom to know the difference. God's will, not ours, be done. All right. So keep coming back. It works if you work it because you're worth it and you're loved. And that's it. Just noticing today how 
gray the hair is. Like this is solid now. Very fun. Very fun. Very fun. Like it's it's always where I'm like, should I should I color it like a bright yellow color? And I'm like, why would you do that? I'm like, I don't know, just for something to do. And I'm, you know, so do you ever think things like that? And then you're like, that's not going to serve me. <laughs> but maybe it will. Maybe like vote for a color if you want me to color my hair. Because it's perfect now. So it's so light. I can put any kind of odd color. Maybe I should, I should color it to match the book. No, stop. That's a very odd thing to talk about. Okay, I love you. I could start off by actually getting my nails. I paint my nails and then the stuff comes off so easy. Whatever. It's good. It's all good. Bye. See you tomorrow.